The tower has been clad in scaffolding for nearly five years. We took the easier option going up a lift on the outside to see the craftsmanship close up. They've restored the tower in the 1930s, 50s and 80s. Its limestone didn't take kindly to London smoke. Now they're replacing it piece by piece with Clipsham stone quarried in Rutland. Safety rules were different in the 50s. The platform seems more secure than it was then. This is the most comprehensive restoration ever done and they found the Clipsham stone has withstood the elements. It stood up extremely well. It doesn't corrode in the atmosphere uh, and it's easier to carve as well. The clock tower has a Nottinghamshire connection through the man who designed the clock mechanism. His name's on it. The world's largest and most accurate clock. Edmund Beckett Dennison was born near Newark. He was also the first president of the British Horological Institute, which is at Upton near Newark. His clock design was the most accurate around. This clock had to stay accurate within one second a day, and for public clocks of this size, that was absolutely unheard of in the middle of the 19th century. And at the Museum of Timekeeping in Upton, you can see how it works. And there we go, we can see here that as the pendulum swings to either side, these legs catch it and redistribute that force, keeping it even on either side. Denison's name is carved on Big Ben too. It doesn't have a clapper inside, it has this very large iron hammer on the outside which is lifted by the mechanism of the clock and then uh, it falls back onto the bell. But Denison wasn't as clever as he thought he was when he put a bigger hammer on the bell. That made it louder so that the sound would travel farther, but unfortunately he cracked the bell beyond repair. This is where the new Hopton Wood stone on the floor of the belfry is from, a quarry at Longcliffe near Matlock. When you see the raw material like this, as it goes through its process of being sewn and finished and polished, it reveals uh, some of the beautiful natural characteristics of the stone. It's been completely replaced with very large blocks of Hopton Wood. Also the staircase which runs up the tower, the spiral staircase, uh, is made from Hopton Wood, all 334 steps of it. To see some of the repair work which has been done to the floors, um, it just gives you a real sense of satisfaction that the heritage is being maintained. And the clock face is back to its original colour after removing layers and layers of black paint. It was wonderful actually to see the paint research done by Lincoln University. When we repainted it with the exact colour, it was very striking. And the clock should be working again and striking Big Ben for all to hear when the restorations complete at the tower by the middle of next year. Tony Rowe, BBC East Midlands Today, Westminster.